Okay, here we are. A lot of people have asked me about the food we'd feed Shira, and Maxine and I make our own homemade juice that we mix with her pediatric Vivanex. So, just to start off with, we use pediatric Vivanex, a single amino acid formula, or some parents use Tolerex. You never exceed two packs a day, as outlined in the AA or the amino acid diet created by Mary Bodzo. There's information uh, for that on www.smasupport.com as well as the fsma.org website. We don't use pasteurized juice because there's too many sugars in the actual juice because it's been pasteurized. We prefer unpasteurized juice for sure because it contains all the nutrients of the fruits and vegetables that we use. Here's an example. We use apples, pears, celery, as well as spinach, two big bunches of spinach. Then we also add in her food avocado, banana, and sweet, and not sweet potato, but yams, these cooked when we actually make her food. So the, ja the juice is made separately, and then when we actually make her uh, food for the day, that's when we add banana, avocado, and yam. So, oh yeah, I also wanted to mention we use a champion juicer. Many people have asked me what kind of juicer we use. I've had this champion juicer since 1988. It's a workhorse. I've replaced parts, but this juicer just keeps on ticking, and it's a great value. They're about 300 bucks, and I strongly advise uh, going with one of these. It's the uh, it's the typical juicer that most uh, people that are big into making juice use because they just keep on going. They don't wear out that fast. So there's many different kinds. This is what we use. So step one is making sure is juice and then I'll show you how I make her daily formula. Okay, here we are, part two. We've cut up all of the uh, fruit. It's all cut up so it can go through the juicer. And the spinach has already been juiced and we have the lovely spinach juice. Popeye has nothing on this uh, combination, let me tell you. Anyways, that's part two. Everything's ready now to go into the juicer and then when we actually make her uh, uh, formula for the day, I'll show you how to do that in the blender. So we've got the spinach juice already made and we have uh, the fruit all cut up and the fruit going through. Okay, here we go. All the juice is made. Now we have to strain the juice. So what kind of strainer? I have a medium fine strainer. It's, it's uh, quite fine, but it's not the finest. And I guess these are pastry strainers, I believe, uh, for sifting flour. And we take the wonderful juice mixture we have, which is a vibrant, alive, green, you can just take this stuff and drink it. It's amazing. Anyways, pour this through. Just move this down a little bit. Pour it through the strainer. And this will just catch anything that's just too large to actually go through Shira's gastronomy tube or G-tube or Mickey button, whatever you call it. As you can see, it didn't catch too much, but it caught a few large chunks. Very important you do this. If you don't do this, you're going to end up in trouble and uh, have a few clogging problems with your uh, G2. So now, sure as juice is made, and what we do is we store her juice in bottles. We've made four days worth of juice. We collect couple of uh, large uh, cider bottles, apple juice or cider. Clean these out. You want to store things in glass, not in plastic. After they go, we run them through the dishwasher and we put it on the sterilized cycle. And when they come out, I still give them a bit of a rinse just to 
get any uh, soap residue out. And then take the bottles. And you'll want to get yourself a funnel so that it's easier to pour. And then we fill up the bottle. Typically, we make some of our food right away. So, I'm not going to give you the amounts of Shears actual, what we give her during the day, because that should be figured out precisely for your child. And uh, so, I'm just going to put that there. Okay. And as you can see, there's still sediment in here, and there's sediment in the juice, but this is good. This is fiber. Our children need fiber. It helps them uh, have bowel movements and uh, keep their intestinal tract moving. So, but this is good fiber. And we'll need a lid. The thing with juice is you don't want to expose it to a lot of air and you don't want to expose it to sunlight right away and uh, as it breaks down the juice so you just want to get it into the bottle and get it in the fridge and there we go there's Shira's juice look at that that's power juice not the stuff you buy in the store in a can that's dead this stuff's alive if you left this in the bottle with the lid closed it would ferment and explode the bottle but it doesn't happen that quick. It would happen if we just left it, but we use this up in four days. So we don't have that problem and we would not want to give share fermented juice. But the fact of the matter is this juice is alive. The nutrients are alive. It's not dead like all the juices are that you buy in the store. I don't care if you buy it in a health food store, you buy it in Safeway. If it's been pasteurized, it's dead.